Hey guys, Cha Chan here, and today's video is a very lazy video. <laughs> so, uh, I realised it was Monday and I went, oh, I need to do a video, and then I didn't, and now it's Tuesday and I realised I hadn't done a video, so, um, here we are. Today I'm sketching Draloc from The Vampire Dies in No Time, which is one of my favourite shows. I love this anime so much. <laughs> Highly recommend it if you like adult humour and silly vampire antics. Um, do not watch it if you are not an adult. Uh, that's my personal recommendation. It is uh, mature audiences only, in my opinion. So, um, just a little disclaimer there. <laughs> But anyway, aside from that, I love this anime. Uh, what else can I say about it? I love the art style, I love the characters. If you know me, you know I love vampires, but I don't like the serious, edgy vampires. I like the fun and silly ones. <laughs> so that's why I love this show so much. It's fun and silly vampires, not boring and edgy ones, you know? <laughs> uh, what else can I say? There's not much to say about this drawing, I mean, it's a very um, mediocre sketch, it's not, it's not great, it's a bit lacklustre. <laughs> um, I'm not really happy with how I drew John, he's just kind of, I think he's asleep in this drawing, he's just chilling. I, I love John, John's such a good character. Little armadillo, I want to get better at drawing John. I love how they draw him in the anime and like the mangaka, how the, the manga creator whose name escapes me. Uh, but, you know, how they draw John is just... I love it. Anyway, um, what else can I say? Uh, <laughs> it's not the script, I didn't think ahead of what I was going to say. Uh, let's talk about how I started watching the show, because that's mildly interesting. <laughs> so, uh, I was having a little browsy on Dekai anime. This was, like, at the start of this year, I think. And I saw a little vampire nendroid that was up for pre-order and I thought, oh, he's cute. Don't really know who he is, so I just continued with my day. And then later I was like, hmm, I want to watch some new anime. And I was scrolling through the animes and I was like, oh, the vampire dies in no time. What's that about? I like vampires. Oh, it's a comedy anime. Oh, that's that nendroid that I saw. Oh, I really enjoy this show. I've watched all 12 episodes in like three days. Well, time to pre-order the Nendroid. <laughs> so that's um, the story of how I watched the show and then pre-ordered the Nendroid, which it's almost time for the Nendroid to be kind of posted to me since I've had this pre-order going since, I think I put my order in in February. So that was the start of this year. So uh, it was due for release in September, which is next month, which is also my birthday. <laughs> so <laughs> if I am lucky, then I might get to open the Nendroid that I pre-ordered as a little birthday present to myself. It, it feels like it's free because I ordered it so long ago, and I just realised I've made a mistake in my drawing. Um, <laughs> whoopsie. I can't actually fix it because I didn't save this as layers, I just exported it as a PNG. Um, there's a little chunk missing of Drelux's cape. Um, yeah. Whoopsie. <laughs> anyway, aside from that little drawing mishap, which is now the glaring me in the face. Wow. Aside from that, um, what else can I talk about? Because I don't really know what to talk about. There's not much I can say. Um, <laughs> well, I would like to maybe make a Draloc cosplay at some point. Uh, I think I would like to do like a Kigurumi mask of him, maybe. I'm not- I don't have the height to really cosplay him very well. I'm very short and Draloc, I think, is very tall. He's very tall and slender, I'm very short and slender, so... <laughs> uh, I, I guess he can shapeshift, he could just technically be shorter than he normally is. I mean, the height doesn't have to come into cosplay, but I'd be conscious about it. Like, well, I don't feel as tall as I want to be for this character. <laughs> Maybe I can make myself some stilts. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Well, they, we did just get season two announced. I'm very excited for season two. I'm waiting very patiently, but also I'm very impatient. Please release it. I want to see it. It releases in January next year. I think hopefully, touch wood, there's no delays. But I'm so excited. I was so excited. 
I love this anime and I'm so excited for season two. I'm on my third rewatch of season one, so um, yeah, I really like it. <laughs> Uh, hopefully after season two we will get some more Nendroids and stuff. I'm begging Good Smile Company to give us a Ronaldo Nendroid. Like please, please, we need him. <laughs> like we can't just have Draluk, we need Ronaldo there as well, you know? So hoping for that, hoping for some scale figures as well. I mean we got garage kits of Draluk and Ronaldo, like separate kits. But uh, you had to be at one fest to get those, and I was not there. I mean, there was no way I could have been there because <laughs> I was in Japan, and I can't really afford to travel. So, um, yeah. Also, I don't want to go to any big conventions right now. I'm still scared of the disease that shall not be named. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully someone will have bought the at, at least the Dralok garage kit, and will be selling it like pre-owned or you know. Not used, hopefully, because then, you know, how will I paint it if it's already been painted? Point is, would love to paint the garage kit, but my uh, my hopes are not high. <laughs> one day, one day, maybe, hopefully, I I pray. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's my very um, mediocre drawing of the day. Hope you uh, like it. I, I'm not so so keen on it myself. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts. It's not very nice. So maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next video and bye!